single prisoner altered the fate of hundreds. But he paid a high price for it. defeated the sleeper, destroyed the barrier. But while all the other prisoners escaped, he remained behind in the rubble. It was I who dispatched him against the sleeper. Now it is I who brings him back from there. He is weak and has forgotten much. But he is alive. He's back. There you are again. I never thought the two of us would meet again. I feel like I spent three weeks lying under a load of rocks. Well, so you did. Only the magic within your armor kept you alive. I had feared I might not be able to rescue you from the debris of the temple, but enough of that. You're here now. There's a new threat that we have to deal with. At least we have enough time now. I did it. The sleeper has been banned. You vanquished him so much is true, but it's not within our power to stop the war that ensues now. With his final furious scream, the sleeper has set into movement the armies of darkness. It was an order to all evil creatures, a word of power that they were all bound to obey. His last order was, come, and they came. All of them, even the dragons. Dragons? They are creatures of an ancient power. I can sense their presence, even here. And they have gathered an entire army of lowly servant creatures around them. Where's this army now? The army is camped not far from here, in the Valley of Mines near Corinus, and they're getting ready to attack. But that's not all. There is another threat of which I have learned only recently. After the fall of the barrier and the banishment of the sleeper, Belyar's wrath has grown even greater. A mighty artifact, so it is written in the old scriptures, will be brought back to this world when the god of darkness sends his henchmen out to search. This search has long since begun. Belyar's henchmen are desecrating the oldest shrines of the gods. The guardians of these holy places have awakened, and their wrath makes the earth tremble. Every powerful magician on this island could sense this wrath. And some of them have certainly begun to face the threat. You must become their ally. That's the only way to stop Belyar. What can we do? This time we cannot handle it by ourselves. Only the power of Innos will help us against these dragons. A group of paladins is stationed in the city of Corinus, not far from here. They possess a powerful artifact which could help us to defeat the dragons. They call it the Eye of Innos. You need to get hold of this artifact. Tell the paladins about the threat. You must convince their leader to support us. And once you have talked to him, you need to find the artifact of Belyar. It is the counterpiece to the Eye of Innos. 
it must not fall into the hands of evil. What exactly is the Eye of Enos? It's an amulet. Legend has it that Enos himself was poured part of his power into this amulet. It will restore some of your lost strength and help us defeat the dragons. It also has some other hidden powers. I shall tell you more about that once the amulet is yours. Why would the Paladins give me the Eye of Enos? Because you are the one who is destined to wear it. How can you claim to know that? There are a number of reasons. The most important being, you have defeated the Sleeper. If you weren't a favorite of the gods, you'd be dead by now. Let's assume you're right and I'm destined to bear the Eye of Enos. How would the Paladins know that's true? The Eye itself chooses the one who may wear it. Once you get hold of it and put it on, the Paladins cannot doubt your words any longer. How can I get to the city? Just follow the path from here through the mountains. The city is large. You cannot miss it, but watch out. The path to town is not without dangers, and you aren't nearly as strong as you once were. I need weapons. I can only give you whatever little I have here. Look around in my tower. Anything that looks useful to you, you can have. I'll be on my way as fast as I can. Good. And one more thing. Don't tell anyone that you've talked to me. Above all, don't tell any magician. Since I have gone into exile, the Circle of Fire has taken me for dead, and that's a good thing. can't read that. What with? What with?
Hey, you! Can you tell me anything about this stone tablet? First I suspected it might be a magical artifact, but I finally concluded that it is not of any great significance. I have not been able to decode the meaning of this tablet entirely, but it seems to concern the history of a very old culture. If you want the tablet, it's yours. I have no use for it. Where exactly are we? As I already said, near the city of Corinus. I have rebuilt my tower here. But it's only been a few days since we last saw each other in the Valley of Mines. The servants I summoned to build my tower have done a thorough job. Well, you can say that again. Where can I find better equipment? The closest place where you can get better weapons and armor is the city of Corinus. But down in the valley, you can find some healing herbs that will help you if you get injured in a fight. See the lake right in front of my tower. A secret passage leads to the valley from there. Why is the Circle of Fire not supposed to know about you? I used to be a high member of the Circle. Even then, I suspected that demon magic might be the key to the magic barrier. But I could never have convinced the other members of the Circle to follow this path. So I left the Circle in order to study the Black Arts. That is a crime for which the fire magicians, the ordained of Enos, the ever good and virtuous, will accept no excuse. They are certain that I'm still alive, but they have no idea where to find me, and that's a good thing too. So what should we do next? We shall proceed as planned. There's no other way. You can go get yourself the Eye of Enos, and I shall keep looking for answers.
Nothing to be had there. Nothing to be had there. Is that you? Really? Man, am I glad to see you. 
Lester, how did you get here? That was a crazy escape. After the barrier exploded, I wandered around the area for a while in total confusion. Then I spent days fighting my way through these woods until I finally found this valley here. Diego, Milton, and Gorn are still in the Valley of Mines. At least, I think so. What happened? After the Sleeper was defeated, the entire Brotherhood lost their minds. Without their master, they were all just empty husks. And you? What about you? It was the same for me. I had nightmares and even hallucinations. But once my head was more or less clear again, I ran for it. Once, I thought I saw a huge black shadow pounce on a group of fugitives and burn them all up in a giant cloud of fire. At that moment, I really thought a dragon had come to kill me. Did you see anything else? No. I took to my heels and ran. I'm on my way to Corinus. What do you know about the town? Corinus? Well, it's a seaport. Nothing special. Why do you ask? I must go and see the paladins who are said to be in town. <laughs> really? Uh, they won't even let you into the town. And certainly not to where the paladins are. Do you have any suggestions how I could get into town? I certainly do. I worked for an old alchemist named Constantino some time ago. He has great influence in the city, and he's instructed the guards at the gate to let anyone through who can sell him rare herbs. So it's quite easy, really. You collect a large bunch of the plants that grow here all over the place, and then you pretend you're working for Constantino, and in you go. But don't collect a mix of this and that. The guards aren't all that bright, and they know nothing about alchemy. The bundle needs to look good to them if you want to get through. I think that ten specimens of the same kind of plant should do the trick. Thanks for the hint. How long have you been hiding out in this valley? I don't know exactly. A week, maybe? But there's one more thing. When I came here in the evening, I took a look up on the mountain, and there were only a few trees there. And when I looked the next morning, that tower was there. I could have sworn it wasn't there before. Since then, I haven't left the valley. You mean Zardus's tower? I knew he was powerful, but creating a tower just like that. Zardus the Necromancer? He lives in that tower? I don't know if I like that. Don't worry. He's the one who rescued me from the Sleeper's Temple. He's on our side. You need to tell Zardas about the Shadow. It could be important. You don't think it was my imagination? You mean there really was a- Dragon, yes. You're getting into the thick of it again, am I right? I shouldn't say in the thick of it. Not yet. Well, good. If it's so important, then I'll go see him. But not now. For the moment, I'm going to rest. I'm still exhausted after the escape from the penal colony. I think you've got big plans. I'll see you later at Zardus's. Nothing there.
Nothing there. What do you know about the area? If you keep going down that way, you'll come to a farm. The city starts a little way beyond that, but be careful. There's not just wolves and rats hanging around here. There's goblins and bandits too. One less monster around.
nothing to plunder. Trouble? Damn. I don't know where they're all hiding. You kill one, and shortly afterwards, they're all back again. Wait a moment. I know you. You're the fellow who was constantly baking arrows for me in the Valley of Mines. Your name is Cavalorn, right? Ah, uh, I see you haven't forgotten me after all we went through in the cursed colony. Where are you heading? To the city. Well, well. To the city, eh? You may run into problems with the guards. They aren't letting just anyone in anymore, since the area here is swarming with bandits. In the past few days, one of those former psionics from the Valley of Mines came by here. He said he constantly goes in and out of Corinus. He went into the valley below the big tower. There must be a way in there somewhere near the waterfall. Maybe you should talk to the fellow. Interesting armor you're wearing. Don't you belong to the Shadows anymore? Shadows? They haven't existed since the fall of the barrier. The moment we could finally leave the Valley of Mines, there was no reason for me to stick with them. Now, I work for the Water Mages. I belong to the Ring of Water. What are you doing here? I'm sitting tight. If it hadn't been for these damn bandits, I wouldn't be here. Weren't you and your people enemies of the Water Mages back then? Those crazy old days are over. There isn't any more new camp or old camp. Now that the penal colony no longer exists, everyone is on his own. Most of us former prisoners are still being hunted. The Water Mages were able to get my sentence commuted, and now I can move about freely. What are the Water Mages doing now? They're up to something big. It has to do with an unknown region of the island. An unknown region? Where is it supposed to be? I can't tell you more. Talk to Vatras in Corinus. Tell me more about the Ring of Water. I'm not really allowed to talk about it. All I can do is send you to Vatras. He is the representative of the Water Mages in Corinus. The best thing would be to talk to him. Tell him you've come from me. Maybe he'll take you on as one of us. We urgently need more good people. What was that about bandits? Have you slept through the last few weeks? Huh? I'm talking about all the riffraff from the penal colony that are making themselves at home here in the area, plundering and murdering for all they're worth. <sighs> I guess I'm lucky they didn't kill me. I let down my guard for one moment and they club me from behind. No idea how I'll get all my stuff back now. You were robbed by the bandits? Yes. They beat me down and tossed me to the goblins for lunch. It was damned important stuff. A letter and all my money. I absolutely have to get it back. But without someone to watch my back, I'm not going back there. That cowardly rabble. Hey, where do you come from? Hmm? I've come from the mountains. Exactly, you come from the mountains, and that is bad for you. Very bad. They're looking for you, a whole bunch of evil guys. There's someone here you absolutely have to talk to. Follow me. Who's looking for me? Half of Karinus is after you. And you're trying to tell me that you don't know anything about it? Ah, I see. You just don't want to talk to me about it, hmm? All right, it's your business. So, are you coming or not? Who should I talk to? To my leader. His name is Brago. He can explain everything to you better than I can. So, what about it? 
Are we going? How do I know this isn't a trap? You know, I'm getting tired of you. If you don't want my help, then just go to the city and let them put you behind bars. You come with me now or forget about it, see? Easy, my friend. Someone else already tried to trick me. Oh? This guy suggested that we should get an amulet together and share the profit. Once we reached our goal, he and his friends attacked me. It sounds as though they got you involved with the wrong people. Where was that? I was a convict in the mining colony. You come from behind the barrier? Man, then we were there together. I don't know you. I was a digger in the old camp. I didn't have much to do with the whole thing. But what is more important now is you are in big trouble. Someone has put a pretty price on your head, and he's handed out a few posters with your mug on them. If I were you, then I would be very, very careful. There are people with us who would kill their own mother for gold, but I think we boys from the penal colony ought to stick together. Then I guess I better thank you now. Oh, uh, it's nothing. Just make sure you stay alive. Who's the fella who pays the bounty? That I don't know. There's only one of us who knows him. And who would that be? Hey man, I can't really tell you that. You know how it goes. Ten gold pieces for the name of the guy who raised the bounty. Oh man, I really can't do that. Spit it out already. Oh man, all right. His name is Dexter. Near the big farm, there's a steep rock. There's a watchtower up there and a few mines. He has his hideout somewhere nearby. See, that wasn't so hard. Here's your gold. And just don't tell him who told you. Can I have the picture? Sure. After all, it's your mug on there. Is there anything else that might interest me? You mean about the area here? If you want to stay alive, stay on the paths. The farther you go into the wilderness, the more dangerous it is. I wouldn't go into the cave up here if I were you. My buddies in there will tan your hide, and they know something about fighting. Is there anything else that might interest me? I've told you everything I can. Thank you.